dear participants, let me introduce myself first. I am Dr. Maitri Datta, Professor and Head Educational Television Center, NITTTR Chandigarh. In this session, I am going to tell about what is Internet of Things that is IoT, need of IoT, benefits of IoT, history of IoT, applications of IoT and building blocks of IoT. Well friends, internet is the network of computers where all data, images, videos, recordings, commands, everything is available in the internet through computers. Internet has really changed the world and all of us really recognize internet as the most important and informative technology. Similarly, the new internet also has changed the world. New internet is not only the internet of people, it is the internet of things. Things can share the data among themselves and can interact among each other so that we can get the most efficient data or information for our own use. We can add the extra ability to all the objects so that they can interact more, so that the system gets more smarter. So all the things in the internet can communicate to each other with the help of sensors. Now let us see what is the definition of internet of things. Internet of things is connecting everyday things embedded with electronics, software and sensors to the internet, enabling them to collect and exchange the data. Let us take one example. This is a cloud and cloud is the open platform and it can be connected with all the objects. And I have my smart home which have the smart door lock system, smart AC and also the smart bulbs. And all these objects are connected to the cloud. And since cloud is an open platform, so I can connect my car also with this cloud. My car also can have the smart meter, smart speed locator and also the simple the place locator. And since all these objects are connected with a cloud, so my car also can share the data with my home. For example, if my car is just 5 minutes away from my home, then my ACs can be switched on automatically and the temperature of the room can be set at 23 degrees centigrade or 24 degrees centigrade which is comfortable to me. When I will reach home then all the doors can be unlocked automatically and when I will enter the room then my bulbs can be switched on. Now you can see that how it will be so comfortable to us if we really use the IoT in our daily life. Now let us see what history of IoT says. In 1945, Norman Joseph Woodland developed this barcode and it is the starting of the development of IoT. And you see that how he has developed this barcode when he drew simple four lines in the sand at a beach in Miami. After that, there are many inventions are going on in IoT. For example, head mounted display, first wearable computer inside a shoe and also wearable computer with eyeglass mounted display to aid in lip reading. After that, in 1973, really revolution came when Mario Cardulo developed the RFID tags and it revolutionizes the retailing industry so much. And in 1980s, Coke vending machine has been developed to monitor number of bottles of the Cokes. In 1990s, Kevin Ashton took the advantage of RFID and they have connected the, all the objects in the internet with the help of RFID. In 2004, major publications and researches have been developed in case of IoT 
and all the home lights, switches, street lights, home health care and shipping monitoring, they have used this IoT. Now let us see that what are the benefits of IoT. First benefit I have told here that is efficient resource utilization. Really it is that when I have the smart system and all the objects in that system are talking to each other, are sharing data with each other, then I'm sure that all the resources are giving the efficient utilization. And it minimizes the human effort also. In the previous example, when I have said that when my car is just five minutes away from my home, then my AC is getting switched on, my doors are being unlocked, and also my bulbs are also being switched on. And you can see that how human effort is minimized, and it is saving time. The fourth advantage is that with the development of artificial intelligence, if we integrate artificial intelligence with IoT, then our systems get smarter. Now let us see what are the applications in our daily life. IoT can be applied in smart homes, in manufacturing industries, in smart transportation, in agriculture, in smart buildings, and also in healthcare. As I have said, from this diagram, you can just check that how the objects are connected to each other with the help of sensors. Sensors are really, they are responsible for sharing the data from one object to the another object to, with the help of the cloud. It is the insight and more importantly, business value that comes when you bring all these streams together, we call it the analytics of things. Now I will take the two examples. One example is the smart bridge example. If we connect the sensors in the bridge, they can check for stress or damage to a structure which help in its maintenance and many more examples are there. Now I will take one example what we have done in NITA Chandigarh as weather monitoring station using IoT. Here I will take a simple example where we will collect the temperature and the humidity data of a room. The hardware needed is temperature and humidity sensor that is DST11 and also the Raspberry Pi. And in case of software, we are using the VNC viewer that is virtual network viewer and also the cloud as cine cloud. In Raspberry Pi, it has the 40 GPIO pins. GPIO means general purpose input output pins. By the name only you can understand with these pins, the sensors really send their data, in our case, the temperature and humidity from the sensor to the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is connected with our mobile set. And when we will run the Python script in our mobile set, then automatically that data will go to the Cine Cloud. And if we log in to the Cine Cloud, then you will see that in weather monitoring station, you will get the exact temperature and the humidity value of Nitro Chandigar of that room. So this is another application. Just like this, you can have more examples and more applications of IoT. Now let us see what are the building blocks of IoT. First block is your end devices or nodes or sensors or hardware. Here we will add the number of sensors and also the microcontrollers. For example, we can use motion sensor, we can use pressure sensor, we can use temperature and humidity sensor, luminance detector sensor, proximity sensor and also the microcontrollers like Arduino and the Raspberry Pi. Next building block is gateway. Gateways are nothing but they are emerging as a key element of bringing legacy and next generation devices to the IoT. They integrate protocols for networking and also they help us to manage the storage and edge analytics on the data. Next building block is connectivity. As you know, 
we all require the Wi-Fi connectivity, not only the Wi-Fi connectivity, your Bluetooth connectivity and RFID also can be one part of connectivity. Next building block of IoT, what is important that is software and the operating system. In case of the operating system, we use the tiny operating system or the Conteki operating system and also the Mantis operating system. These all are open operating system. In case of protocol, in IoT, we use the different types of protocol. In case of protocol, we use the six low pan protocol and also the co-app protocol. And definitely the main part is your cloud and the cloud can be any type of cloud. It may be open cloud or you can buy from another organization. For example, you can buy from BSNL or Amazon or anywhere. And for our case in NITA Chandigarh, we have used the Cine Cloud for this application of the temperature and humidity detection. Now next part is that what are the IoT products available in the market? For example, I have listed here, one is your Google Nest, another is your Philips Hue bulbs, another is your green IQ controller, and also the baby monitoring system, and also the Fitbit bands. Now there are so many working groups, they are working upon this IoT. I'm listing upon that IEEE that you know already, the full form is your Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, IoTVT, then OCF, that is Open Connectivity Foundation, then IOTSF, that is IoT Security Foundation, IETF, that is Internet Engineering Task Force, and also IIC, that is Industrial Internet Consortium. Now, I have told till now that is all the benefits of IoT. Now, let us see what are the concerns. There are two concerns I have pointed here. One is security, another is a privacy concern. In case of security, as I have told that you can unlock the door, but one case is there. For example, if your mobile is hacked by the hacker, then what will happen? The hacker can any time, the, they can click on unlock button and automatically your door will be unlocked, which is a concern of security. And in privacy concern, since I have told you that all your data are stored in the open cloud and it is coming to your mobile definitely. For example, your action, your location, where you are, everything data is going to the cloud and this is coming back to the mobile. And you don't know that how those data are used by the other persons who are accessible to that cloud. So this is definitely a privacy concern. So we have seen that there are some benefits as well as there are some challenges though IoT is growing eventually. So in this session, I have tried to give you the overview of IoT, the need of IoT, the benefits of IoT, as well as the history and the application of IoT and also the building blocks of IoT. Thank you.